Hello everyone, this is Snowball H. Mostek, and today we're here with another main association of Math Leagues problem. Round meet one, a 2012 to 2013, different year. Round three, so a different topic, problem two. So our topic now is matrices, determinants, and systems of equations, because we're in a different round. And with this topic, instead of, and from now on, instead of doing... 2010 to 2011 problems, I'm going to pick out two of the harder problems from 2010 to 2013. And if, with this topic, since it's kind of two things, matrices and systems of equations, I'm doing one systems of equations problem, which is this video, and I'm also doing another matrix problem, which is this problem from 2013, which is a determinant of a 4 by 4 matrix. So I think I'm going to pick out the harder problem problems instead of doing the easy problems because the harder problems are what really get people and usually the number one problems that are just three pointers usually the, those regular regular math students could do those so i don't think i need to do those i think i need to focus on the hard things so problem two given the equations 3x plus y equals 17 and 5y plus z equals 14 and 3x plus 5z equals 41. What is the value of x plus y plus z? Now, if you if you know how to solve these kinds of equations where you solve for x and y and z, and instead of two variables with two equations, it's three variables with three equations, those kind of equations are comp kind of complicated, but, you know, a lot of people know how to do those. So if you know how to do those, you could do that with this problem. And then you could just sum x and y and z once you've solved for them to, to get your answer. But what I'm going to do is something which is a lot easier, in my opinion. You see, whenever I see x plus y plus z, that's kind of the total sum of all of the variables. So what I want to find it to see if this will help me is the total sum of all of these equations, because that might help me find the total sum of all of these variables I instead of having to solve for each variable individually, which takes a really long time. So first, let's just sum the first two equations. Plus. Now, we need to make sure that our like terms are always lined up. So, we're going to line them up like this. Okay, so as you can see, I've added coefficients of 0 and 1 to make all of the terms line up so we can easily add them. So, 3 plus 0 is 3. 1 plus 5 is 6. And 0 plus 1 is 1. So, 3x plus 6y equals 1z equals 17 plus 14 is 31. Okay, so now let's add 3x plus 0y plus 5z equals 41. So 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 0 is 6, and 1 plus 5 is 6, and 31 plus 41 is 72. So we're left with 6x plus 6y plus 6z equals 72. Now, as you can see, we have all of the same coefficients, so it's 6, 6, 6. So we can actually just factor the 6 out. So we're left with 6, and in parentheses, x plus y plus z equals 72. And all we did was factor out the 6 from the 6x plus 6y plus 6z. So instead, we have x plus y plus z all alone with no coefficients. So we can just solve for that. So when we divide each side of this equation by 6, we get x plus y plus z. 72 divided by 6 is 12. That is our answer. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Looks like a very hard problem. Three equations, three variables. Looks very complicated. In reality, all we have to do is add all of the equations together, and then we're left with 6x plus 6y plus 6z equals 72, so we can just divide by 6 to get our answer. And that's what you should always do when you see x plus y plus z, or x plus y. Because usually those problems are actually really easy, because you can just sum up all of the equations, and it'll come out like this. It might come out with an 8x plus 8y plus 8z. It might come out 
9x plus 9y plus 9z, but usually, not always, but usually, they'll all have the same coefficients when you add all of the equations up, which makes it really easy. They might not always have that, which means that sometimes you do have to solve for x and y and z individually, which takes a long time. But usually, x plus y plus z, this is a trickster problem that is trying to trick you into doing more work, when really, it's actually really easy. So, yeah. Th those problems come up a lot. I don't know, I've seen that problem a lot. This x plus y plus z. So, yeah, hopefully this helped you, and have fun doing math.